Welcome back to another day. Woohoo! It's the mission for this afternoon. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Swivel plate! Woo! No. This afternoon's plan, actually it's a Monday because we've been slacking, we've been busy with life stuff. But actually, it's something I wanted to say before. This is what happens if you're working full time and you're doing a van conversion on weekends, on part time. You're not gonna do every weekend because you're gonna be doing stuff. So it's gonna. This is what happens. Yep. So anyway, it's Monday now. Got the swivel seat. It should only take us. It should be a really quick job. So we thought we'll squeeze it in for today. Comes with the swivel plate. CTA, CTA swivel plate. We'll put the link in the description. Friend Comes on eBay. with instructions and some screws and the plate itself. So the way it works is that you plop this on the base like that and then you push this thing down and then it rotates the whole seat and Ended. it should be a pretty pretty quick installation. So the first thing you got to do is place the seat forward using the four right lever, unscrew four screws at the back and then push the seat backwards and then unscrew the screws at the front and also the British weather is raining now, that's why I'm wearing my crazy winter jacket. You might be able to hear it, might not pick it up. Um, so it's yeah, annoying. last week, literally the last vlog we uploaded, it was so hot. Yeah. As I mentioned, the week before that, it was just disgusting again. So. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to crack on, because yeah. all this job is indoors, so we should be good to go. Yeah. Welcome to the driving seat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the pilot's department. We're about to take off. Beep, beep, beep. Before we fit the thing, what I've been reading online is that that plate is supposed to re raise the seating position by, I don't know, whatever that is, about that much. Like and two if, inches? Maybe? Some people are saying that you might need to get a lower base thing. Now, what I've noticed when I'm driving is I'm six, what am I, six foot one? Yeah. So I'm about six foot one. Head-wise, I'm fine. I have plenty of room. On my leg, when I press the clutch, it's pretty close to this steering wheel thing. I think I can move this up and down, but this is for reference, and I haven't seen anyone show this for about a six foot person, so we'll see how it goes. You can tilt the seat like up and down. We, so... only, we only figured that out. Oh, yeah, we only Saturday. figured this out as well. Look at this. There's a little lever on the right hand side that you can pull up and down. So yeah, anyway, I think my leg is pretty tight. So what I'm interested to see is once we fit it, will my leg still fit? So I don't know. We're gonna put the we're gonna convert it or we'll see what happens. And if it's too high then we'll have to buy a lower seed base, which is like a hundred quid, so I really don't wanna do that. Huh? Let's that. So let's put this on. So gotta remove these screws here. First of all, push the seat forward. Let me try. All the way forward? Because I have four screws. Look. Oh. Then you find your um, thing that you need. Torx. 15. It might not be 15. I might have put it back in the wrong bit. It's probably not 15. <laughs> anyway, that should do it. Look, this is a critical moment. Get in there. Come on, more. Three? Four. Cool. Now we gotta push the seat back. Push the seat back. And we have two more at the front. Down here. Oh, my thing doesn't fit. In there. Yeah, one on the other side. And then one on the other side. So you've got six in total. Two at the, this side, or four at the back, and then two at the front. One more. 
Got all the screws out. And now, we, before it's loose now, but before we remove it, I think you need to remove a cable. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, oh. oh gosh. Might be better, I did. Look at that stance. <laughs> what? Oh, I got it. He's trying to remove the tray underneath it to see the wire. Okay. Got it. You can remove it by uh, moving this two clips up with a screwdriver and then it just pulls out forwards. It's very unsafe. We should have done this before and screwed it. But now, we can show you. Cass is going to get under there and show you what we need to disconnect. See that yellow thing? Yeah. So under the seat, you have that yellow cable that connects to the seat. And we need to feed it through the middle bit of the... And it's connected to the chair. So that needs to get unclipped before you remove the seat. Now what I've read is that it's fine as long as the van is off and you plug it back in before you turn the van back on. So fingers crossed, we'll be fine. It's also cable tied on to the seat base and to the seat. So make sure you snip it before you unclip it. <laughs> snip it. Yeah, that's one. And there's the other one. So now that's loose. All right, now I need to uh, get in there and unhook it. I wonder if it's easier if I just move it halfway across. Maybe. So there you can see where it's connected. So obviously you need to thread that cable through the middle of the swivel base, I believe, so it doesn't get tampered with when you move it around awkward positions that you get yourself into when you're doing a, ba a van build so you've got to be you've got to be agile and nimble those are the right words I don't know. only if you're an idiot like me yeah I managed to unclip it and there's a button there's a button on there that you pull and then it disconnects yep. so it's this pink button you pull back and uh, it disconnects. So now we can remove the seat. So that's off, we're gonna tidy up and we should be good to go to put the base on. Stick them on. Like so. Two, three. Oh, I put this washer on the wrong way around. Oh dear. I'm getting hot now. <laughs> all this exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to screw all these bad boys on properly. So that's on. That's how it locks in. And then you push down. You swing around. What so? Oh, it doesn't lock in this way. It only locks in in the. Only locks in at the front. front frontal position. Sweet. So now, this cable needs to come through the middle bit. And this cable. So I guess it's time to chuck the seat on. Mm -hmm. Cable through the hole, chuck that on there. We're in there, and now I need to fix the things onto the plate. Washer, screw, not. So I guess washer goes on there. Twist the nut on. I think that one came out. Too big. 
Yes. So what I'm doing, I'm holding the nut with this thing. 13 mil. So holding it from underneath and then you've got the Allen key on the top. Actually, it might be easier to do it the other way around. Cool, that's roughly tightened. And then now we got six more to go. So this is going to take forever and ever. So once you've done the two front ones, as before, like when we first took it off, once you've put those in sort of roughly, then move the seat forward so you can access your two holes at the back. Oh yeah. In the lean back position is fine. Let's go around the roundabout. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is why. <laughs> So, as you can tell, Laz's feet are quite high off the ground, which is why we're doing the step here, or the ledge, so that um, where the heater is, obviously that's where we're having the seat slash bench, so it'll be raised about six inches, I reckon, so then your feet will be effectively on the ground on this level, and the table will then be attached to this cupboard or seat. So now the question is, is it too high? To drive. Let's see. So I just finished eating my breakfast. <laughs> you ready to go, Cass? Are ready for adventure? I don't know who eats their breakfast like that, but what okay, do you mean? We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. And then I can rotate around. Oh, it squeaks. I mean, it's not the easiest things. And here we go. Look. So my leg doesn't fit in this gap um between the seat and the thingy and that's all the way you're all the way but, forward oh am i yeah. oh here we go never mind if you push it all the push way push the seat back and then now i'm coming <laughs> oh. clicks in yeah i am higher my feet are still under the seat belt it might be better than it was it's weird that you gotta push the button down and not pull it up yeah, Isn't that's it? what I got confused with. Yeah. Well, anyway, this red button, you got to push it down. It makes more sense to go up, but... And then I can swivel. Cass is in the captain's chair. My turn. Uh-huh. Where do I push from? You push sideways. What are you doing? You gotta rotate. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, maybe it's harder than it looks. I'm gonna go back. You got I had? Yeah, go on. There you go. There you go, you just need some practice. There we go. So yeah, we're good, we've got no error codes. So yeah, you can disconnect that cable. And as long as you don't turn the ignition back, mm -hmm. you're good to go. What's the review of the installation? Easy peasy, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. It took us about an hour. Yeah. Everything really smoothly. Is but yeah, for me, for me it's fine. And I'm the one who's gonna be swiveling it. Most heavier. of the time, I'm a bit heavy and got more muscles. <laughs> I got more muscles. And the height is all fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was going to be uh, a lot worse, so I think it's doable. I wouldn't it, worry about it too much. If you if no, you are going to do the same thing, get the. It's something to be mindful of if you're quite tall. I reckon. Yeah, if you if you're like above six foot one. Because your head would come up higher. Yeah, if you're above six know. foot one, then you should consider. Mm -hmm. And or if you got big bigger legs than me, then it might be a problem. Or so that's it for this week. We've managed to do two fairly big but quick jobs. Yeah. Because it was something that we've been wanting to do for ages, but obviously we couldn't find the seat, and we didn't want to buy the swivel seat because there's no point of doing that when we had the double. 
so yeah now it just opens it up a bit more and it's just one of those jobs that yeah it's really good you don't need to worry about i think you could easily do both of them in like one a day not even not a half a day yeah they're just quite good jobs to do if you're busy at the weekend so stay tuned for next week where hopefully we can get some more interior done yeah let's crack on let's go Woohoo! see you next week bye bye